hello everyone welcome welcome to my channel y'all what i am going to do i'm going to bake a pineapple upside down pound cake yes let me say that again i'm going to bake a pineapple upside down pound cake i had this in mind so i'm going to try to attempt to make this y'all now i'm not good at baking cakes and stuff like that so i'm going to attempt to make this cake so the ingredients that i have okay now i have been looking up some uh, recipes um like this one but this one also calls for like one and a half cup of um you know flour and stuff like that um no i'm sorry uh, three cups of all-purpose flour, but I'm going to use something different. I'm not going to follow this recipe because it seems like they have used less ingredients. So what I have, I have three cups of Swan's um, Down Cake Flour, and you know, it's already sifted, but I have added um, one, let me see, one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda and um, okay one eighth of salt because it, the recipe calls for salted butter but I always get the unsalted butter so I have three sticks of butter here and I have three cups of sugar and I have some pecans so I'm going to add pecans to the recipe I have six eggs already you know cracked and set at room temperature also the butter was set at room temperature I have some pineapple which this is two cans of uh, pineapple rings and I have one can of crushed pineapples then I also have sugar I mean I'm sorry shared cherries and then I have a half a cup of brown sugar I'm going to use um, a teaspoon of pineapple extract and vanilla extract one teaspoon and then I also um, gotten some pineapple juice this is the pineapple juice that I drained from the crushed um, pineapples and the pineapple ring so I put it in this glass jar and I already have my cake pan which I am going to this is the bunt cake pan that I'm going to use and I'm going to spray it down with Pam bacon um, flour spray and I think, okay, yeah, I roasted the pecans. And I think that is all, you guys. So let's get started. So I'm going to add my butter and sugar. My butter was set out all night, so it is room temperature, and also my eggs were set out all night. Go ahead and clean that up.
Okay, y'all, it's been 10 minutes. This is what it's looking like. So let's go ahead and add eggs. Next, I'm going to add in my cake flour and the pineapple juice. I'm going to pour some um, cake flour and then add juice. Cake flour and then add juice. So let me stir all this together. And then I'm going to add the pineapple crush in here. I'm going to fold it in though. think I want the whole cake you know with pineapples in it I just want a few specks of pineapple in the batter let's get the bunt pan together okay let's set this aside
these are the cherries and the pineapple. So this is a half a stick of butter and a half a cup of sugar, uh, brown sugar. This is a light brown sugar. This is what it's supposed to be looking like. Okay. some pecans should have did that the first time y'all i'm trying to attempt now I'm attempting to make this and i pray that it turns out good all right let's add some cherries Okay, I thought about putting some around here too. So let me just turn off the camera and try to fill this space in too. Be right back. All right, y'all, look at that. Okay, got it layered. Let's go ahead and pour this batter on. y'all if i mess up just give me an a for trying okay just give me an a for trying 
my first pineapple upside down cake. Pound it down. Now, hopefully, I know the cake will rise over the pineapple, so we'll see how that's going to turn out. I'm going to set my oven to 325. Let's see, eight, eight, twenty five. Start, and I'm going to leave it in the oven for about an hour and twenty minutes at least. Okay. All right. We'll see y'all in a few. Okay, y'all. My cake is finished. Just turned the alarm off. Let's see how it turns out. All right, I baked it for an hour and 20 minutes. how it turned out. Let me get a toothpick and see if it's done. Okay, y'all, this is the look of my cake. And I did pick it with the um, toothpick. That looks like it's it's dry. Okay, well, let's flip it. All right, let's flip it, y'all. Oh, Lord Jesus, let it come out right. This is my first attempt, and I hope and pray that it does come out right without breaking. Oh, Lord. All right, one, two, three. I heard the thump. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna bring the camera back so you guys can see. I did hear the fall, the thump. So, let's see. you can't see my pineapples oh my god look at it y'all look at it oh my goodness oh my goodness it came out good y'all oh my goodness oh my goodness Let me let it sit and cool, and I will come back and put the glaze on it, y'all. Look at it. Oh, I'll be back, y'all. Hold on. Okay, y'all, my cake is cooled, cooled off, and I was going to put the remaining of the crushed pineapple on top of the cake, but I changed my mind because I have so many pineapples on the side and on top you can see a few cherries on top so y'all this is how it settled but i'm sure it's going to be good and what i'm going to do is to put the rest of this um well i just made it up 
put this glaze on top of my cake. I just made it the same way that I made it before. This is it. And I think it turned out okay. It looks so moist. Mm. Mm. So this is all the pineapple in the cake. Pineapple. y'all let me taste it starting at the add the pineapples mmm 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 Y'all, it is so good. Mmm. You can definitely taste the pineapple. And it has pecans in it. You know, I add it on top. So, I guess this is how a pineapple cake is supposed to look. Mmm. Yeah, this is good. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to finish it. 
But y'all, look at that. Mm. Definitely good. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell button so that you will not miss out on any of my videos. Come back because you never know what I may have next for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.